from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Have I ever had sex with an illegal alien? You bet. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. How can you not love this game? How can you not love it? This is fantastic. But a lot of people are getting very upset. Have you heard about this? This is an online game at a website. You can uh, join up. And uh, apparently it's exploding. It started off as a little local website. And now it is out of control. Here's the story. I'm going to read the, uh, by the way, it's appeared in many newspapers. We're going to read the one from the London Daily Mail, the Daily Tabloid. goes like this. Girls as young as nine can give a, quote, bimbo breast implants and put her on a crash diet. In a new internet game. Players of the game is called Miss Bimbo. Are given a naked virtual character which they must look after. The characters enter beauty contests to earn money. So they can buy clothes and go clubbing. Players compete to create quote the coolest, richest and most famous bimbo in the whole world. I think that's fantastic. Says here they had given missions including organizing breast implants and finding their bimbo a billionaire boyfriend. They also have to check her hunger, thirst, and happiness ratings, keeping her weight down with diet pills. (laughs) The game, which was launched in February, has nearly 200,000 British players most of whom are girls aged between 9 and 16. That's inspiring. When they run out of virtual cash, players send text messages cost one and a half pounds. You know how much one and a half pounds is? It's three bucks. Three bucks for each text message, or they use PayPal to top up their accounts. A similar website in France has attracted 1.2 million players in the past year, despite condemnation from dietitians and parents. (laughs) I'm laughing my ass off. There has been a boom in the creation of virtual worlds for children in the past year. Huge numbers of British children belong to Internet sites dedicated to Barbie or the Bratz dolls. The creators of Miss Bimbo claim it is, quote, harmless fun and builds on the success of crazes for virtual pets such as Tamagotchis. Tamagotchis? What what century are we talking about here? Parents groups are horrified that the game is taking off in Britain, fearing it could send the wrong message about eating disorders and plastic surgery to young girls. I'll tell you what, I bet you just uh, step in and make sure your young girl is not uh, logging on if you're concerned about that. Bill Hibbard, spokesman for a parents' rights group called Parent Kind, said Miss Bimbo was, quote, daft and pathetic. Daft is a word they use in England that we never use. Daft. 
He said, it is one thing if a child recognizes it, it re recognizes it as a silly and stupid game. But the danger is that nine-year-olds fail to appreciate the irony, and they see the bimbo as a cool role model. Then the game becomes a hazard and a menace. I don't agree at all. I want the girls of the future trained properly. We're going to need new crops of bimbos as time goes on. If you are nine years old and you're playing Miss Bimbo, you're in the tickler file for 2017. Get your education online, ladies, and then when you grow up to be 18 years old, uh, we'll uh, give you a call. Because that's the kind of chicks we like. Bimbos. Says here that children's innocence should be protected as far as possible. This is the guy from the group, Bill Hibbard. It depends on the background and mindset of the child, but the danger is that after playing the game some, some will then aspire to have breast operations and take diet pills. Oh, yeah, like girls aren't aspiring to that now. Like there are nine-year-olds sticking their fingers down their throats. Yes. There are financial dangers for parents, too, if they do not know what their children are texting when they pick up mobile phones. The game's creator, 23-year-old web designer Nicholas Jacquart from Tooting, South London, insisted it was not a bad influence on children. Here's what he said. They learned to take care of their bimbos. <laughs> if they eat too much chocolate in the game, it is bad for their bimbos' bodies and their happiness levels compared to if they eat fruits and vegetables, which reinforces positive, healthy eating messages. Exactly. He said the breast operations are just one part of the game, and we are not encouraging young girls to have them, just reflecting real life. No, oh, he's good. <laughs> so it's the Miss Bimbo game, and your nine-year-old daughter can sign up for this and learn how to become a bimbo. Now, most guys I know uh, have no problem with bimbos as long as the bimbos are not their daughters, <laughs> which is the biggest hypocrisy in our society, because every girl is somebody's daughter. I got no problem with the Miss Bimbo game. I have no problem with girls signing up and learning how to become proper bimbos. Anybody got a problem with this? 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 Screw these women that want to take away what we have, you know? Screw them, Tom. That's right. Screw them. For God's sake, screw them. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM so oh, there's the website, MissBimbo.com. By the way, if you check out the cover page of MissBimbo.com, as a result of media attention, they say they have removed the option of purchasing diet pills from the game. They said, we apologize to any players whom this may inconvenience. But we feel in light of this week's proceedings, it is the correct action to take. <laughs> It also says here, we would like to sincerely apologize to our players for the media comparison of Miss Bimbo and Paris Hilton. We feel that this does a disservice to the players who send their bimbos to university tea parties or chess tournaments. Well, they also say, we would like to remind players that the Miss Bimbo team assume no responsibility or liability for any fashion faux pas, hairstyle disasters, or boob jobs incurred in real life as a result of playing the Miss Bimbo game. Come on, what's the problem with a game like that? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, Dad, great to talk to you. I know. <laughs> uh, Long-time listener from way back uh, 10 years ago in Portland, so much happier to be here in SoCal now. Cool. Yeah, the, uh, this, this actually strikes a chord with me because I, I, I think bimbos and sluts are the most beautiful creatures on the planet. I wouldn't, I, that's what I'd rather have every day, every night of the week. Now, that being said, I'm also the father of a young girl and trying to have that fine line between what I enjoy and how I'm going to steer 
<laughs> steer my little one away from uh, people like myself when she gets older. <laughs> it's the biggest hypocrisy in America. Oh, absolutely, without a doubt, and it's 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 terrible. But what can you do? You like what you like, but you've got to uh, yeah, you've got to watch out for the little one as well. So. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there and see what else you have to say. And would you take me out uh, Lacey Peterson style? I certainly can. Amber. Hey. Amber. Amber, make you a few friends. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. Oh, yeah, all these people upset about the Miss Bimbo game. What are you worried about? So what? Unless these children are yours, don't you uh, want a uh, an ongoing supply of fresh bimbos? I mean, as a guy, I don't see what the problem is. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Kyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Doing great. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Um, I wanted to just throw this out here. Um, that, you know, these, these girls that are playing these bimbo games are going to be the ones that are going to be growing up, are, are going to be the girls that you're steering us away from, the ones that are going to be getting knocked up, materialistic girls wanting breast implants. All no, I'm going, going to put, no, no, but see, I don't warn you away from them. I warn you away from marrying them or having relationships with them. But because they are bimbos, they are easy to manipulate. They, if they think they're going to get your money, they'll do whatever you want. The trick is not to fall in love with them, not to marry them, not to take them home with you. Okay, well, let me bring up this point then. They're going to be the ones that are going to be knocked up in single-family households, bringing down the society and raising up, you know, murderers, drug addicts, and all sorts of other stuff. These are the kind of the girls that are playing these games are going to grow up to, you know, ruin their life. Well, that's – that's. I don't think that's necessarily bimbos. That's single mothers. That's what single mothers are doing. But not all yeah, single mothers are bimbos. Not all single mothers are bimbos. Uh, most of them are, Tom. You know, a, 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 I mean, a good, a good girl isn't going to... Bimbos are hot. Bimbos are hot. They are. They are hot. I do agree with there's you. A lot of, there's a lot of uh, single mothers who are not hot. Well, that is, that's true. But, but you know, the, the, the girls playing these games are going to be materialistic when they get older. And, they're gonna be and that older. makes them manipulatable by you. Uh, well, I mean, I guess, but... I, I mean, mean, I live for chicks like that. Those are the ones I get my way with. All the ones who think they're going to have ownership of my 20-acre property. All the ones who think they're going to own my Hollywood Hills home. All the ones who think they're going to get my credit cards, my ATM card, and get the keys to the vault. All the ones who think they're going to get the keys to my house. These are the ones I can manipulate. Women will do anything for me because they think they're going to get a piece of the action. Well, you know, I... I personally think we have plenty of enough bimbos in this world right now. Oh, we can and, never have enough, and we need to make sure we've got bimbos in the future. Oh, we will, but to raise a whole generation of yes. bimbos because of a game that's horrible, Tom. They're going to be the they're going to be the scum of society. They're going to bring down. But they're the going to be my scum, and that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, I guess. They, I, I personally think they're just going to be horrible. They, you, you get these nine-year-olds playing these games with breast implants and diet pills. You know, that's 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 stuff that they need to figure that stuff out when they're a little older, not nine years old. They're going to be... Well, it's up to the parents to uh, make sure that where their kids are uh, going on the Internet. Yeah, they're gonna, they, these girls are going to be the 15, 16, 17, knocked up, living at home, not getting a career, bringing down a society. These are the kind of girls, the girls that play these games are going to be the girls getting... Yeah, but by the time they get to that point, I've already used them up and tossed them like a used Kleenex. Uh, they're, when they're 18, 19, they're already going to be tossed up in a used Kleenex with a, with a baby at the house. They're going to be 17, 18. Uh, it won't be my baby, I know that. <laughs> it's not going to be your baby, no. It's going to be someone else's. Yeah, that's somebody else's problem, you know what I'm saying? 1-800-5800-TOM. Yes, a game on the Internet called Miss Bimbo. It's at MissBimbo.com. Come on, what's the problem with that? It's fun, it's funny, and we, the world can use more bimbos. I'm speaking as a guy here. Nothing I like better than meeting a materialistic bimbo. It's the best. Do you know how many of them I've uh, put the bricks to? Are you kidding me? 
And then when they uh, come by for payment or what they expect will be their payment, I give them a good swift kick. Love it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jason. One word to say to all these dumbasses out there who are fearing this game. Parenting people, bimbos are great. If you don't want your kids on the game, don't let them play it. End of discussion. Right. I mean, how, how much more simple could it be? And it's the Internet. There's nothing you can do to control it. It's from another country, MissBimbo.com. It's from another country. I've got four daughters, and I don't fear the game at all. My daughters are into sports, academics. I don't let them on the computer. As far as I'm concerned, it's an adult tool, period. Mm -hmm. You know? So I I don't understand uh, the beef with all these people trying to micromanage everybody's life. It's ridiculous. Nope, I agree with you. It starts at the home and, and should end at the home. I totally agree. And I thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? How you doing? Doing great. This is my third time on your show. I've been listening since I'm 24. I've been listening since I was 18. Love it. Um, so, you know, you're making it sound easy that it's easy to manipulate bimbos, and I'm calling to ask you how exactly, because you're making it sound like it's easy, and I live in L.A., and I come across tons. So. Well, because, well, here's here's why. It's because uh, bimbos uh, are motivated by one thing. Well, they're motivated by three things. Money, attention, because they are attention whores, and the possibility of marriage. All right. Well, how do you trick them into thinking that they're gonna, like you said, you get them thinking that you're gonna, they're gonna get part of your house and you're safe and whatnot? And well, because you let them see it, you let them smell it, you let them <laughs> lick it a little bit. <laughs> but that's it. Do you well, know, I, Ben? Let me be really frank with you. I, I'm, right. I'm gonna just open up here for a second. Are you aware of how many women I have had sex with? Um, I'm sure you're... you're no, 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 no. I haven't finished the sentence. Who have seen the front of my house, who have uh, gotten an idea, like they've seen me in a limousine, they've seen pictures of my 20-acre property. Do you know how many women I have had sex with as a result of that? Uh, now, how many of them have the keys to my house? Zero. How many of them have married me? Zero. Now, what happens? At some point, they will always start saying, you know, my lease is up soon, and I was wondering, you know, uh, you got a lot of space here. It's just you. And then you just give them a good, swift kick to the curb. You're really funny, Tom. I think you're really funny. So these chicks will put out in hopes of getting a piece of the rock. All right. I see. So you just show, you just show it to them. I show it to them. I drive them around it. I... Give them a taste, uh-huh. but they never actually get anything of substance. They never get a key. They uh-huh. never get a credit card. They never get cash. Mm-hmm. They never get taken on trips. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't get anything. Right. Uh, as I've always said, you know, if you've been to Las Vegas and you have walked down uh, the strip, you know, on Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, there are people handing out all kinds of uh, brochures and business cards. And there's always the people with, who have little packs of cigarettes, like little sample packs. Yeah, they're selling candies and cigarettes. No, the gi- no, these are the ones I'm talking about who are giving away like a little pack of four cigarettes. Oh, uh, 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 right, right, right. You know, it's like Winston's or Marlboro's and like a little pack of four. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out, man. Marlboro, check it out. Uh, but the idea is that's the last free cigarette you're ever going to get. Right. Well, well, that's what I do, and I let these women see the way I live my life. Mm-hmm. I let them see the house. I let them see the limousine. I let them see my car. And when they see it, they give you a little pack of four cigarettes <laughs> in the form of taking their clothes off <laughs> and ride me like a pony. All After right, they've been riding me like a pony for a while, then they say, hey, pay up. You know, I, I want to move into your house. I want to marry. So I, it's time for me to get married and settle down, blah, blah, blah. That's why I give them a good swift kick to the curb. All right. 
Well, that's an interesting method. I appreciate you uh, talking to me. By the way, a great place to meet chicks, I understand. Yeah. I haven't done it yet, but I know somebody who has. Is forget like Match dot com or uh, the, the Yahoo Personals or, or eHarmony dot com. Go right to one of the millionaire websites. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a bunch of different websites for women looking for sugar daddies. Right, I've seen sugardaddies dot com and all those. Many of these women put out, and first of all, they're hotter th than you can imagine, and they put out right away because they know that that's their primary. Uh, product that they've got to offer yeah but i think you're asking for trouble going on one of those websites why is that right i think right off the bat they're going to be demanding as much as you say that they're going to be well then you then you then you just say uh forget it i hardly know you uh but i will tell you that uh many of these women uh put out right away and i have friends who've done it mm -hmm. they put out right away and then of course then they have their hand out mm-hmm but it's like I always say, I've, I've test driven a Ferrari, and then right. when I get out of the car after I've had this exhilarating experience, driving 600 miles an hour on the, uh, <laughs> no, 600 horsepower, driving like 160 miles an hour on the uh, Santa Monica Freeway, like you could ever do that. Uh, you come back to the showroom, and the guy says, what would it take me to get you to buy this car today? Well, let me think about it. <laughs> That's what you have to do with chicks. Test drive, test drive the Ferrari, test drive the Maybach, test drive the Testarossa, and then when they ask you to like pay up, just say you'll think about it or no. Mm -hmm. All right, Tom. Well, I also want to let you know that all the stuff you said about men and their careers, it's really important to me being a young man, and I'm just starting to get my career going. And I, everything you say is absolutely true as I get older. And my career gets better. I, it all starts to make sense. So I love like I said, it. I've been listening to you for a while and. It's all making sense as I get older. You can take me out with a bong rip. Here you go, Ben. No golf. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not Good much, Chris. Calling. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. All right. Well, you know what I'm calling about? These guys calling in about, like, not liking bimbo something, I guess, and that they're hurting society by having children early. Dude, come on. You bag them and tag them, bro. Wear a condom and, you know, handle it. Let them go on their way. If he wants to, like, fix society or something, I guess, he can get rid of, like, the lounge areas at Home Depots for the people that don't pay taxes and work in this country. That's right. You know what I mean? It, I mean, that's a little irritating, that that whole fact in itself. And then these people don't like bimbos? What are you talking about, man? You go out on a Friday night, you meet as many as you can, and you wax it, lay it on its back, and hit it, bro. And, and you want chicks to be insecure about their appearance. You want chicks to be worried about whether they're thin enough, whether their boobs are big enough, whether they're good enough. That's what we want. No doubt, man. That's how you get your control. Bro. You want you want the, you want a world of you want a world of Queen Latifas and other women who are large and in charge, walking around all sassy and confident. No, I want women who are completely, completely insecure. That's the way to go, bro. Women who are worried about what men think about them, and then when they ask you what you think, you tell them, "Yeah, I've seen better." That's it, man. You know, you can't give them all a piece of the pie. You know what I mean? Right. No way. You got to have your own little spot and your own little time and, uh, you know, spend your money on yourself, not everybody else, or at least another female or whatever, you know. You are right about that, Chris. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. We're talking about the website MissBimbo.com. Uh, contestants as young as nine years old get on this website and they learn about, uh, you know, how to get boob jobs and, uh, they learn about eating disorders. <laughs> they, they try to become the coolest bimbo on the planet. That's what we need, more future bimbos. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Logan on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Well, um, I already know how you're doing. Don't even answer that. Okay, I won't. Uh, <laughs> Uh, first of all, I think, yeah, the bimbos are great. I love looking at them, and I love going after them, and it's just, it's fabulous. Uh, second of all, is it, I, what I don't get is why people still play blame video games for the downfalls of the parenting. Uh-huh. You know, the one gentleman called in and said, uh, you know, he doesn't allow his daughters to go on. I mean, that's great. Or the other thing you can do is teach them that it's a game. You know, they can be nine years old and still understand that, you know, this is a video game. This is fictional. You know, if you teach a child that it is a game, it's not real life, 
then they know the difference. You know, it's the same thing with like the first person shooters and all those things. They they blame it and say, oh, it makes people violent. Or yeah, I just think it's just a it's a bunch of nonsense and stupidity. I agree with you, and I thank you for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I've been gone from it for about two years now, and it is just clear saying it is worth it. Now I go out all the time with different girls. It's a blast. Now, I don't know what I was thinking imprisoning myself. It's the Tom Likas Show. Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. We are talking about the website called MissBimbo.com. That's where girls as young as nine years old play a game to become the coolest bimbo on the planet. Using boob jobs, text messaging, shopping at fashion stores, what have you. Mm. We need more bimbos in the future. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Martin on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Doing okay, Martin. Yeah, so uh, when I heard about this on your show, I went ahead and uh, logged on to MsBimbo.com and created myself a bimbo. And this uh, this site's pretty dead on, man. How so? so? Uh, Tell us about it. My bimbo is 5'6". I've got her, uh, got her up to 210 pounds now. <laughs> her happiness rating, her happiness rating, three hundred and fifty, because she's been eating nothing but steaks and chocolate. <laughs> she's dead broke because she spent all of her bimbo dollars at the shop <laughs> on food. <laughs> and now the site's warning me. It says, "Be careful, your bimbo's put on weight." <laughs> Uh, of course, it, of course, it, of course, in England, two twenty is not that fat. <laughs> yeah, no, not hey, in, in Washington too, man. A <laughs> little, little too close to reality here. <laughs> right, not close, but yeah, she uh, she gets bigger and everything as you uh, as you pack on the pounds. <laughs> now I've got a little doughy face slut staring back at me from the screen, and uh, yeah, she's happy as a clam, though broken fat. Like how, how accurate is that? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, Martin, oh, thank man. you, thank oh, you no. so much. No, not a problem. Can you uh, can you take me out number nine style, please? I certainly can. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Danny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father Tom. Yes, Danny. How are you doing? I really do care. I'm doing great. Awesome. Hey, Tom, listen, man, I got a question for you. Yeah. All right, so I'm totally following you on this whole concept, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, acting it up like, you know, you got this thing and then dumping them and all that. Yeah. But let's say, you know, you get the... The nine, the ten, that's completely insecure because that's how those types of girls are. You get that. Then what do you do with it? How do you play it up? Because I used to live in uh, Houston, and these chicks out here are completely different. They're very much stuck up because of losers like these guys, you know, completely kissing their asses. Yeah, but so. well, you don't kiss their ass. You just let them believe that you've got money, power, and fame, uh, or money, power, or fame, or any combination thereof. And then uh, they will let you have a taste of the goods. They won't let you have much of a taste. After you've had a bit of a taste, then they're going to say, hey, I expect compensation of some kind. I want to move in with you. I need a place to live. I need somebody to help me make my car payments. I need somebody to help me pay off my student loan. And you tell them, F you, and you dispose them like a used Kleenex, and you move on. Right. See, I'm in the, I'm in the exotic car rental business. Yeah. And uh, I have a lot of clients that, you know, young guys that just want to, you know, rent one of these, uh, you know, classic cars or exotic cars and all that. And, uh, you know, and I ask them, like, oh, so, you know, you got any plans for the weekend and all that stuff? They're like, nah, you know, just me and my friend just want to go out and just, uh, you know, show up in front of girls and get some, you know. And I'm like, right on, brother, right on. Right. You know? 
So they're definitely doing it right. But, uh, you know, I do want to offer your, uh, you know, your guys that, you know, the, the smart ones anyway, I do want to offer them a discount. So I don't know if I can say my uh, website on the radio. No, no, you can't. But thank you. <laughs> Call our sales department at 323-971-9710. Ask for the sales manager. We're in the selling advertising business. I don't know if you noticed that. We're not in the giving free plugs away business. You know who let you plug your business, though? Anybody on KRLA. You may not have heard of KRLA. You probably haven't. But, uh, you know, they're a buck o'clock anyway. I'm sure that if you call whatever shows on the air right now, they'll be happy to let you. In fact, they'll be happy to get your call. There's nobody calling over there anyway. Also, any sports talk station. You can call that Dave Damashek over on ESPN Radio. I'll, I'll bet uh, he's waiting for your call right now. In fact, I'd be willing to bet if you dialed the phone number for that show, you'd get through immediately. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. By the way, we have linked uh, MissBimbo.com to uh, the BlowMeUpTom.com website. So if you go to our website... Uh, you'll go uh, and get linked right through uh, to Miss Bimbo, and then you can set up your own Bimbo, start playing the game with all the nine-year-old girls out there. We're all learning about getting boob jobs and trying to keep men pleased and happy. I'm totally, I'm, I'm totally in favor. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. You know, this this site is brilliant because it works both ways. First of all, for all the Lycus listeners who pay attention to what you're saying, it's an opportunity to have more targets out there. And I think uh, listening to the last guy with the exotic cars, you can always take any girl up into Bel Air and show them your home that's under construction if you want to show off how much money you have and explain why you need to go hang out at her place for the weekend. The other thing is, you know how many men have second wives that are total bimbos that don't listen to you? <laughs> So this is incredibly fair to all the bimbos in training out there. They get an opportunity to learn how to latch on to morons who don't listen to Tom Likas. And the Tom Likas <laughs> listeners have more of a pool to pick from. I, I think this whole uh, this program on the web is, is brilliant. I love it. Take care, Tom. Mike, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Candace on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Candace. Uh, first off, I want to say that I completely agree with you with, you know, using bitches when they're being bitches and kicking them to the curb. But I want to ask, do you really think that it's a good idea with nine-year-old girls going on and learning about boob jobs? Oh, like they're not hearing about it now from, uh, you know, Entertainment Tonight, The Insider, <laughs> and every other uh, show out there, E! Entertainment Television, TMZ. Uh, and by the way, <laughs> not not to mention, who is the role model of the girls watching, you know, that, that innocent little channel called the Disney Channel? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Pregnant and knocked up. Well, no, no, Bye that's, guys. no, that's, no, that's uh, Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, that, you're thinking of uh, Jamie Lynn Spears. No, 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 yeah. that's, and that's a very good example. Thank you for bringing that one up. But also you got that Hannah Montana. What is that all about? Have you seen that Miley Cyrus's uh, MySpace page or uh, pictures that no, are out I there on the internet? It. Oh, please. Hello. Is it cleavage everywhere? Oh, it's beyond, darling. It's beyond cleavage. Oh, that's so, I just don't understand where these mothers are coming from for letting their little girls, like, look up to people like that. Like, I think. If well, because, 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 because mom there. is a bimbo herself in many of these cases. I mean, come on. Mom got knocked up at 16 by her high school sweetheart, and mom now is, uh, you know, 25, and the little girl is nine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're watching the Disney Channel, and their hero is Hannah Montana. Uh, and then mom, mom, because she never married the, the father of the kid, uh, mom has to plop the kid in front of the TV to, to babysit the kid. And what's the kid watching? TMZ, The Insider. <laughs> Entertainment Tonight, uh, Access Hollywood, E Entertainment Television, VH1, Flavor of Love. Come on. <laughs> so well, Miss Miss Bimbo sounds rather quaint compared to some of the things kids watch on TV. Oh, uh, me crazy hearing stuff like this that the parents let these kids do. By the way, the Miss Bimbo site is one of the most crudely drawn 
low quality websites I've ever seen in my entire life. Our, it makes our website look look like the Exxon Corporation. Are you kidding me? This. <laughs> I mean, when you you have to see the site just to see how badly done it is. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go on when I get home from work. You got to see it. It's hideous. Right it's hideous. It's absolutely hideous. <sighs> but but the concept is hysterical. I don't see what the problem is. We need more bimbos of the future. Oh, I have no question that you know some women think that all they can do is just have big fake boobs and blonde hair, and you can't knock success. You can't knock success. The only problem is that they think they're going to get guys to pay every, for everything that way. <laughs> well, guess what? If you're successful enough and you're a beautiful enough bimbo, uh, that, that's largely true. Unless they meet uh, one of the Lycus uh, 101 students, and then yeah. we know how to work our way around that. But then again, there is really no such thing as a successful bimbo, really. <laughs> well, it depends on what she's trying to succeed at. True, porn's always a good way. <laughs> yes, but any you know, any bimbo who manages to marry a rich guy without a prenup and then take half of everything he has, you have to say she's a success? <laughs> yeah, she succeeded in her life goal. She pulled it off. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I, I think there are going to be more guys following the town 101. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like that are just ridiculous. <laughs> that's right, dear. <laughs> All right. So uh, just, just remember, everybody who's got a daughter on the Internet right now, she's studying up for a future with my students. I hope all those parents are going to the computers right now. By the way, not to mention all the uh, the girls online, they call them tweens. You know, they, they've already oh, yeah. got their webcams and their d digital cameras and their PayPal accounts. I mean, come on, let's not pretend this isn't going on. Yeah. There's an issue there, too. Well... Uh, yeah, but, uh, I mean, can you imagine how many parents just stay out of their daughter's lives so much that the daughter has, like, a webcam and uh, a PayPal a account? <laughs> My mother wouldn't even let me wear a tank top till I was, like, 17. So. Oh, don't By the way, dear, most of these girls are not wearing tank tops. <laughs> They're not wearing anything. <laughs> oh, you've been on there, too. <laughs> oh, no, I just take a guess of what goes on on the Internet. Oh, my God. So that's why I, I, I can't believe the upper over Miss Bimbo. It's funny. I mean, there's much worse stuff than that out there. <sighs> Jesus. People really need to pay attention to what their kids are doing. <laughs> that's right. Because other people sure are. That's right. They want to look at your little girl. Well, <laughs> but the Miss Bimbo uh, game is uh, its not like that at all. I mean, you can't communicate with anybody. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let your little girl go on there and learn how to become a bimbo of the future. Oh. Well, I guess everybody has to have a goal in life. You are right. <laughs> to be a gold-digging horse. Gold-digging horse. <laughs> That's an occupation like any other occupation. I guess we need him around. That's, we, we, uh, guess what? Men of means, we need gold-digging horse to keep going. Thanks, <laughs> That's right. All right, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Tom, can you, take, can you blow me up? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, this is John on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hey, Tommy. It's John. How you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, I'm out here in Orange County, you know, the bimbo capital of the world. Yes. Oh, we got them in abundance out here. As a matter of fact, I think that last girl I was calling was from Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I love them. You know, Tom, I've been chasing skirts out here with a lot of coin for a lot of years. But I got to tell you, these bimbos, they've, they've kind of turned the tables on us out here, you know, because as much as coin as I throw out at them, as much as I show them, they're actually snubbing their nose and going after the Arabs and the Italians out here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, just tell them your name is uh, Nick or Tony. I wish if I could paint myself brown and call myself blue, <laughs> I'd do it. Well, you might have to hit the tanning salon. Do what uh, Dino does. But, you know, the, I don't know what it is with the bimbos out here in Orange County, but, you know, there's a lot of coins out here. I mean, there's a lot of places where you can go, these establishments that just cater to the bimbos, and you love it. And out here, they're getting very selective and very, very ir irritating. You know, on a good weekend, you pull down three or four in the old days. 
now you're lucky to get yourself one. Love, sounds like you've been out there. The Tom Likas Show.